Hey guys, I recently bought this Nord Ace backpack and I decided to do a little review for you. You might have heard of this backpack because of the Instagram ad. At least I got that ad like a million times. But as I was also looking for a backpack for my university next year, I decided to actually buy it. Anyways, I always love looking at reviews before I buy something. So I decided to make a little review myself because maybe one of you watching this actually it might help you. So let's get into it. So here's an overview of my order. Um, the backpack was originally $89.99, but because I found a 10% off code, I spent $86.65 on both the backpack and a waterproof rain cover for it. And here I am starting to unpack the backpack. It was packed pretty well in like two layers of plastic. I got the Sienna model and I got it in black. And on the camera it looks pretty black, but in real life I would say it's more like a dark grayish color, but I still really like the color. It also came with a little tag that lists some of the special qualities, so you can pause if you want to read that. Now for a tour of the entire bag, there are two compartments on the front. This one is the one on the right side and it has a little compartment for sunglasses which is made of felt and it also has a little clip thing which I think is meant for your keys. And then I close that and when you turn the backpack around after closing that, there is another compartment, but this leads to like a whole nother space, so they kind of overlap each other. And this space has three little compartments uh, that you can put stuff in and also the big place to put stuff in. Then uh, I'm moving on to the main compartment. This is the big one in the middle. Uh, it opens about halfway and when you open it, you see this white compartment which is made of sort of plasticky stuff and I think it's waterproof so you can put your phone in there or something else you don't want to get wet and then on both sides you have compartments on one side you have two of them and on the other side you have two more so you can just sort all of your stuff in there and then the bag also has uh, a compartment on the way back which is kind of padded uh, which I'm opening now and I think that that is meant for your laptop, yeah, it's meant for your laptop, so you can just put it in there and it's supposed to be protected. The bag has a, co a few cool features like this USB cable that is in the bag and it leads to this kind of port on the outside. And I think it's meant so you can put a power bank inside and then charge your phone on the outside. It's pretty cool. And then also the straps of the bag, they seem really sturdy and I could really pull on them pretty hard without anything happening. And another cool thing is on the back, uh, there is this kind of hidden compartment, so you can just put your phone in there and when you're traveling, it can't be stolen because it is literally covered by your back. And I think that is so smart. Also, the entire bag feels really sturdy and it has a lot of shape. And although the zippers aren't the best I have ever seen, because they don't move that easily, I mean they are fine, they are completely fine, uh, but they aren't like the best ever. But I do really like how they look, I really, they look really neat, and also I really like the little tags on them, so it's fine. And the straps, uh, I think this is really smart as well, because they have a little clip, so you can prevent them from flapping around, and you could also fold it double. To stop that. When I was watching some reviews I saw that some people thought the water compartment bottle was way too small and their bottle didn't fit but to be honest my bottle fit just fine and there was even extra space so I think a bigger bottle would even have fit as well and as for the laptop compartment well um, my laptop isn't that big so it just fit in there really easily and I think even if I didn't trust the padding inside I could even put my laptop case around my laptop and it would still fit in there but I honestly think the padding is will be good enough at least for me because I don't really plan on throwing my bag that much so I think that will be fine as well. 
I think sustainability is really important. So I did some research before I bought this laptop. Uh, the website said that they only use vegan leather, which is really a plus point. And they also said that they only work with BSCI accredited manufacturers. Well, I didn't know what, it meant, what this meant, so I looked it up. And it means they promote workplace conditions in accordance with human rights. And I think this is so important because many workers of like fabric and in the clothing industry are treated so badly. So this is really something that really sold this backpack for me and made me want to buy it. My overall opinion is that I'm really happy with this bag. Um, of course, it was a bit more of an expensive bag. Uh, all my bags that I've bought earlier were cheaper, but they were also, they always broke after like a half year or a year of wearing them. The straps would always break and they would always, you would always see a lot of wear. And I just hope this backpack will have that a lot less. At least I love all the compartments and my overall opinion is that I'm really happy with this bag. I hope this video was useful for at least someone who uh, is considering buying this bag. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, leave any questions that you have in the comments down below and I'll gladly answer them. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!